Hi. The following short video will contain spoilers. Uh, so if you're unfamiliar with the video game, uh, Little Inferno, uh, and some elements of it, then you should go ahead and skip the short. All right, you might have to get out of bed, you might have to flip open to the tab. You know, at least I'm giving you the warning, right? This is skippable, but we won't take that long, so you can just endure it one way or the other. Uh, specifically, we're going to be discussing hug coupons and my viewers. So, I received uh, three little things that, hell, you really can't read because of how they're presented in the game. Although you can read this one fairly well. Uh, regarding the hug coupon. This one came from the first video, before I got the hug coupon. And then these two came in response to me shattering the hug coupon. Now, uh, according to the information I have received from friendly viewers, uh, the hug coupon has some value. I might have wanted to hang on to that. I should have kept it because of the things I may or may not see at the end. I don't know specifically what it'll do, but my goodness, that hug coupon, what value. <laughs> now, um, this ended up uh, stopping me from playing the game for a few days, and it so infuriated the friend who suggested I play this game, the same mastermind behind Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, Eversion, and Witch, that he wanted me to invoke my zero uh, spoiler tolerance policy, uh, which I did not invoke for this game, uh, part because I didn't consider that there were going to be any. Um, these comments, uh, and all three of them are responsible for this, even though uh, the one in the first video came first, it took something away from me. Uh, spoilers are more than why something is significant, like these hug coupons. Say we're watching a movie together, you point at the screen, that guy, don't forget about him, you'll see at the end. I may not know what happens at the end, but now I know he is significant, and that something involving him will happen at the end. Uh, these three individuals remove that discovery for me, the option of wondering whether something was significant or being surprised by its apparent significance. Uh, as you may very well recall, I looked at the hug coupon, didn't give much of a second thought, it shattered, whoop, big deal. Uh, and, you know, I could not have, I can no longer be blindsided by the fact that its existence or non-existence now will be relevant later on in the game. Because now I know that. Uh, that discovery has been taken from me. Uh, I'm not surprised, of course, that something like this would happen in the YouTube comments, particularly whenever I don't explicitly note a zero-tolerance policy on spoilers, and indeed even whenever I did, uh, people violated this thing. I take the good with the bad whenever I read comments. Uh, but I am still disappointed. And uh, little comment chains uh, spawned uh, from these comments, and uh, from my replies to these comments, uh, I will not post or even discuss the entire chains here. I will let you, the viewer, uh, if you're interested in indulging in that, make your own judgment calls. Uh, perhaps Grimith is uh, an obtuse asshole who doesn't understand how the world works. Or perhaps Grimith has some kernels of truth here and uh, wanting to discover things on his own. Right. So, that takes care of our little short. I just wanted to have that discussion. And, you know, my final thoughts on the matter can be best summed by me flipping some shit around accidentally, and then, yeah. So, see y'all next time.